Hi, I'm Neville Legal, a visual artist. I led the team involving Rashid Boudou, Glenn Wright Jordan, and Rena King. And we are responsible for the mural here at Jackson, representing the beautiful parish of St. Thomas. So this mural was commissioned by the National Cultural Foundation, and we were initially hoping to engage members of the community. However, there was not enough time for all that, so I got three experienced persons, three artists, Glenn Roy Jordan, Rashid Boudou, and a young artist, Rena King, and they assisted me. I grew up, I spent all my life actually living in St. Thomas. And things I remember from childhood, there were lots of donkey carrots around. I was born in a little village called Farmers, lived in shadow houses, surrounded by sugarcane fields. And even going to school at Hillaby Mate School, I would take shortcuts through sugarcane fields and potato fields and stuff like that. So country life is, is dear to me. And so I injected in this mural aspects of my childhood. You would always see somebody in the village selling, some woman with a tray, either sitting or, or walking around selling um, sweets and fruits and whatever else that was to be available. And so I, tr I tried to feature that. I featured, of course, the houses, the donkey cart, which as children, as little boys, we would try to hop the donkey cart. But also this Harrison's cave, I, I try to echo aspects of the stalactites and, and so on from the cave, a landmark that features Barbados throughout the world. So I thought it was important to include, to some extent, the Harrison's cave. What I want people to take away from this is, I wanted people to enjoy what I enjoy as a country boy, running around playing in, in, in the villages and so on, kite flying. These, these are things that are dear to us as children growing up. It was very important to include these things. Hi, my name is Randy White. I'm an artist. My contribution to the Cityscape mural project can be found at Leicester St. James. From conception to completion, it took about seven days. The concept for the mural was they wanted something reflecting independence, the transition from one governmental system to the other. I just figured it would be nice if I could try to show the transition from colonial time to the present with an eye to the future. On that mirror, I had the help of Kwame Hunt and Alicia Smith. Every interpretation would be different. However, I painted it being tanked to show that everything changes over time and some of these changes do reflect mistakes made in the past. We really have to emphasize on making the correct decisions now. That's only in the future. You don't have the trouble of trying to correct mistakes. 